guys, let's get into it. All right, I speak about many different topics on my channel. Specifically, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Hebrew Israelites, the Bible, the Quran, all religions, and the gods that made the religions, the Anunnaki. Today, I'm going to make it a bit simple and show you some visuals and some scriptures to support the premises of my work. You have read these many scriptures before, but because you have been indoctrinated, as I was for many, many decades, you read these scriptures, but you did not quite get the context of it. Not having the context makes it so easy to believe in religion and to follow rituals and indoctrinations. It makes it so easy. It is beneficial to religion and their leaders to keep you in that state where you do not comprehend context. And so they keep you stuck on verses, singular verses, the ones that they want to point out, rather than giving you the overview of what the Bible, the Quran, and all religions are really, really conveying. So I'm going to show you a few scriptures here that show so easily when put together what is really going on in the Bible and the religions and the holy books and who you are really worshiping. So here we see in this scripture here, we see this. So very easily, if we understand the overview and the context of scripture and who the gods of religion are, that scripture there indicates this for us. Not many people have seen clouds like that, but I have. So this scripture is inferring that the clouds are what the God of the Bible uses as his chariots. What is a chariot? <laughs> right? So now when we see that, we can understand this scripture now here. You remember? Remember the God of the Bible said in the wilderness that he was a cloud during the day following the Israelites and a pillar of fire by night. And now when we read that, we can go back again to this scripture again. And it all becomes so clear, doesn't it? So now when we read Ezekiel chapter 1 and Exodus chapter 40, we can now envision what is really going on. And that is this. So the next time that you read those verses and you read the Bible, keep in mind that the movie Independence Day was really telling you something. It was not connecting that this is the God of religions returning, but it infers that. So watch that movie again and kind of gain a bit more insight into what you are really reading about when you read this. Now, when you read these verses in the Bible, picture in your mind this, and this, and this. As you recall all of those verses that you have read so many times before in your life, but because of indoctrination, because of deceit, you never quite fully understood that all the time, Ezekiel chapter 1 and the Bible was telling you that the gods you are worshiping 
travel in vehicles like this and many of them even look like this. Oh.